Ahoj Karle, vítej uh, u hodiny a vlastně vy, co se na to budete dívat online, já vítám u ukázkové hodiny učení přízvuku angličtiny. Se mnou, já jsem Adam Carson a tohle je Karel a my to spolu zkusíme. A můžu na tebe mluvit rovnou anglicky? Course. Oh. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, sweet. So, uh, my first question would be if you have a preference. You know, if you could choose, which you can, um, between American English and British English, if you have a favorite. Uh, it depends. I like to listen American one, but uh, for this lesson, I prefer British English because I think it's much more closer to my mm. accent. So maybe you tell me if I'm right. <laughs> Um, sure. So it's totally up to you. I usually tell people to choose the ones that you like better. So normally I speak like this. This would be like a like a tradition. Well, traditional. It's called. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe give example of British one and an American one. Sure. So the the one that I'm using right now is a standard British. Sometimes it's it's called uh, received pronunciation. So that would be, you know, the BBC English. Mm -hmm. Sounds like this. Um, I don't know what else to say. Um, <laughs> the I'll switch to the American. So the American sounds more like or like this. Um, I think we have to or you, you're probably more familiar with it from like movies and music and TV shows and stuff like that. Um, it's a little bit different, not too different. Generally speaking, most of the sounds are the same. You just use them in different places and it's like, it, it's creating habits. So I can do either, uh, either one or either one, I should say. Uh, there, there are a few vocabulary differences as well. So I can do either one. Uh, which one would you like to have? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's have British today. All right. All right. <laughs> British, British it is. <laughs> so I would say that most people have a mixture of British and American accents, which is that's like 99% of people that I come in contact with. It's like that. So no worries. Uh, we'll see what we can do by clarifying certain things and stuff like that. And yeah. So if, I'll give you like a short introduction so you know what we'll be doing basically. And the uh, people watching this video have an idea as well. So this is our first meeting. This is our first lesson. So when I say I teach people accents, Of course, it's not in a vacuum. You know, there's grammar involved and vocabulary involved and stuff like that as well. Uh, but the, the approach is fundamentally different. Uh, so my approach, which is called accent artism, has two main pillars. Number one is muscle memory. So one of my most important goals here is to teach you how to move. When you think about that, does that make sense? Well, <laughs> how to move? <laughs> uh -huh. Maybe maybe continue with your explanation and I will be fine. Okay. Uh, so what I mean by moving is that sound is a consequence of shape, right? So if you think about whistling, right? You have to put your mouth in a certain shape for the <laughs> for the sound to work for the you know, for the whistling sound to, to get out. You blow into it and that's how you get it. That's the simple version of everything. You have to make a certain, like a form with your lips, your tongue, everything. Then you run air through it basically and that's how you get those sounds. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Of course. So that's what I mean by, by muscle memory. I need you to teach how to move properly. Right? And if you move properly, then you make the right sounds. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah? Definitely. <laughs> cool. So one of the like easy, easy, easy tips, like first tips that I give to people is make faces. You know, like, don't be afraid to make faces, basically. Um, 
Specifically, I have two. Number one, I call the Donald face. Uh, it's after <laughs> Donald Trump, because if you play a video or if you look at a video of Donald Trump speaking for a bit, his face is like, you know, it's like, like this. It's like, America's great. America's fantastic and America's number one. We have to destroy China and dominate everyone. You know, it's exaggerated. It's exaggerated, but you, you, know, you, you get what I'm trying to say, right? Okay. I so get it. <laughs> the number one phase here is this. Okay, Donald. Mm -hmm. Hello, Adam. Mm -hmm. How are you? <laughs> uh, uh, good. And you can hear you can hear that, right? You, you it changes the resonance of basically mm -hmm. everything that comes out of your mouth. So there are sort of key sounds that are associated with this face. Some of them you know because they're the same as they are in uh, in Czech. So we can have o, u. I think that's easy peasy. Uh, the ones that are trickier sometimes is W, there's like W, mm -hmm. you know, and you can say things like why, hmm? try it. Why? Where? Where? Yeah, you can start stacking okay. that up together so you can be like, where were you? Where were you? Hey, mm. <laughs> hey, right? right? so where were you when we won? Where were you? Where we won? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so what I want you to do now, because I'll get to this later, but try to copy exactly what I say and not what you think I say. So I'm referring to the er. I wasn't saying were, were. It was just were, were. Were, were. Okay. Open it up a little bit, like, uh, whoa. Uh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's like, it's like trying to, it's like trying to kiss your mom or something. And lose the jaw, right? It's like, uh, just relax. Uh. Just relax. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's, that, that's, that's better. Yeah, so mm -hmm. you, we can then say, Where were you when we won? Where were you mm -hmm. when we won? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's better. That's better. Yeah, so that's a pretty specific example, right? But were is one of those key sounds, and that happens a lot. So, where were you when we were, you know, uh, doing this and that? Uh, why were you thinking about other things? Just many examples. Um, that's one, yeah? That's the W. Mm -hmm. The other, or another example that I want to show you was the R sound. Now, a lot of people do it very strongly, right? They go like, something like that's that. That's probably me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what I want you to do now is keep the same phase, the same movement for w, yeah? But on the inside, lift the tip of the tongue a little bit, yeah? So it'll be like r, r, try r. it. Uh-huh. R. Yeah, yeah. And don't forget the, the Donald. R. r. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's it. Uh, that's it, yeah? So it's very, very similar. You're just playing with the tongue inside a little bit. So I could say red riding roller coaster. Red riding roller coaster. Uh -huh. Better. Yeah. And so you need to build these habits and then obviously you, you're stringing them together uh, and creating words and syllables and sentences. Does that make sense? It makes sense. And after some repetition, can I have my mouth <laughs> like normal, <laughs> like without normal? Is it like, is it just helper or? No, no. you need, it, it needs to become normal for you. Yeah. Okay. 
it's you can think about it as any sport do you do you play any sports yeah sure a lot of sports so like, which which one oh, like running yoga and so mm -hmm. so let's say there's a let's take a yoga position right what's like I, d I don't know much about yoga but i know there's like a downward facing dog mm -hmm. right so the first time you do it do you remember if it was easy hard weird yeah weird and hard right and as you as you keep doing it it kind of becomes normal for you right mm. so it's the same thing right at first you're kind of forcing your muscles to do something new that they don't they don't know how to do necessarily and it's just practice that makes it normalized mm -hmm. that makes sense makes sense of course so so this this donald face in particular i would say it's present in like 80% of everything you say in english so okay. if you do it like all the time you will be less wrong than if you don't do it at all. Does that make sense? Sure. So it doesn't work everywhere, but in a lot of places it works wonderfully well. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Sweet. So <laughs> that would be phase number one. Phase number Whoa. two, because I mentioned two, um, is the lisp phase. Now, do, do you know what a lisp is? Not really. So a lisp is shishlang. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah. So that's what it is. Uh, so imagine you are like what three years old and you want to say something in in Czech or in English. Try it. Hello, Dan. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Huh? Uh, maybe you should give a better example uh, for Okay, I'm just trying to give you, uh, get you to list. Jo chci aby se jako trošku zašišlo. So, you know, it would be something like the um I don't know. When we were there, the things that they were talking about you know, something like that or in, in maybe it's easier if I do it in Czech is like um Když jsem byl na pivku, tak jsem si hlav bábovit s kama. <laughs> yeah. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. So a little bit like that. So that's, that's, that's exactly what it is. So the face is this. Uh -huh. yeah. It's very, very relaxed. Very, very relaxed. But the tongue needs to be outside of your mouth. Like that. Are we are we making funny video? Or what? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's very good. <laughs> it's, it's perfect. Um, <laughs> and again, it's it's very common. It's very very common. Uh, we can say thing. Thing. Yeah, or the. The. Mm -hmm. The thing they think. The thing they think. Uh huh. Yeah. And it, it becomes easier if you move the jaw, but not very much here. Right? It's just easier to do. So we could say, the thing they think about is this. The thing they think about is this. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Well, very good job. And then over time, <laughs> Over time, you just calibrate it and you kind of make it sharper right? and, and you learn how to get in and out of it. That makes it sound crisp and nice. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yep. Any questions so far? Oh. <laughs> so far, so good? <laughs> uh, do I have to talk all the time like this? <laughs> It's better, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I'll I'll tell you I'll tell you like this, yeah. At the beginning, right, I said there's two pillars. One is muscle memory. So that's me trying to teach you what to do with, with your face, basically. And number two, number two is fear management. Yeah. So you know that I, I have a project called 
neposerse v češtině. Uh, so even this like English teaching has that inside uh, fear management or learning how to deal with your fear because it's absolutely like it doesn't work without without that. I put it like this. Every time you learn something new, you need to be okay with looking like a fool a little bit, you know, looking like a, like a, being like a joke, basically. Why? Well, because you don't know how to do it yet. You're just, you're just starting, right? So you're going to make stupid mistakes. That's just how it is. And your, your ego needs to be okay with that, right? So that's why I say you need to be okay with making silly faces uh, because it's, it's funny. It's going to make you feel silly, uh, but that's necessary for you to get, you know, better. Does that make sense? Yeah, totally. Yeah. So any questions so far? <laughs> mm, questions. So uh, maybe, uh, maybe you should, uh, for this purpose, you should, uh, Maybe maybe you could talk about how normal lesson looks like, like uh, what you do with students, or, or because now you did a lot of explanation, like uh, mm -hmm. two pillars and how does it work, and now should we repeat something or uh, like uh, implement these, uh, uh, let's say, tapes. <laughs> into into the speech or uh -huh. and now uh, i'm thinking that i i speak without donuts so uh -huh. i <laughs> i realized that i should implement it <laughs> yeah yeah you definitely should that's that's perfect it's fantastic um <laughs> so yeah that's exactly uh what we're going to do now so hmm, hmm. I'll jump a little bit forward, maybe, just a teeny tiny bit, and we'll do consonant clusters. How about that? Okay. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so consonant clusters are sounds. I'm not talking about what you write. Yeah, I'm talking about what you say or what you should say. So consonant clusters are sounds that are quieter because you put like your lips or teeth or something in the way of the air. So it's like, pff, I don't know if you can hear it well. It's like, <laughs> yeah. L, r, yeah, b. Yeah, so there's always some like blockage, basically. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna, okay, actually what happens when I do this? Um, I'm going to give you um, just some examples of sounds first of those consonant clusters. You repeat it after me. Yeah. And then you're going to, well, let's start with that. How about that? Yeah. So I'll start with just the Donald. So we can, yeah, we can I like it. Donald. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, so, Let's have and try to sort of mimic my face, yeah? Burr. Burr. Bright. Bright. Mm -hmm. Durr. Durr. Mm -hmm. Dream. Dream. Mm -hmm. And we can even make, uh, we can make up more words. So if I go back a step, burr bright, burr bread, Burr bright, burr bread. Mm -hmm. uh, can you think of something else? I'm not really used to uh, move with my mouth. Uh -huh. I don't know. So uh, that's exactly what I want. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I really have to uh, think about it. <laughs> mm, sure. It, it's a bit hard at first, but you're doing great so far. Yeah, so let's try, let's, let's continue. We had fur bright, dur dream. Let's try fur, fur. Fur, uh -huh. 
Ferrari. <laughs> Ferrari, sure. Or freedom. Ah, good one. <laughs> freedom. Freedom. Mm, good. Freedom. Yeah. Um, what else could we do? We can have grr, 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 Groot. One more time. Groot. Groot. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. Yeah, I like Marvel. I like uh, I like Marvel movies too, right? Yeah. So uh, one more time, Groot or Green. Groot or Green. Mm -hmm. Let's try Kerr. Crazy. Kerr. Crazy. Mm -hmm. Let's try Per. Price. Per. Price. Mm -hmm. uh, let's try. Excuse me. Let's try three together. So maybe Skr. Mm. Skr. Mm -hmm. Like scream. Scream. Mm -hmm. Scream. Mm -hmm. uh, scream. Scream. Mm -hmm. And I'll add one more little correction. Yeah. K in English is always with breath. It's always k. It's never k. k. So it should be scream. Scream. Mm. Mm -hmm. scream. Mm -hmm. Let's try scratch. Scratch. Uh -huh. yeah. Don't forget the face. Scratch. Scratch. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Uh, let's move on. Let's try similar but different. Spur. 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 Mm -hmm. Spur. Mm -hmm. And we can say spray. Spray. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. Uh, we can try to say stir. Stir. Mm -hmm. Strong. Strong. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. I'll do one more correction. There's no g or k at the end. It's just strong. Strong. Mm -hmm. Good. Is, I'm, I'm used to say, say or maybe hear uh -huh. strong, right? But it's strong, right? So <clears throat> the strong, the word strong, there is a sound that goes like this. Mm. Yeah, try it. Mm. Strong. Mm. Mm -hmm. Strong. Yeah, yeah, that's it. And when you do it quickly, the the tongue can like unattach from the roof of your mouth or from the inside of your neck, and it makes a little click. It's like, mm. but it's not intentional. It's not like, K, you know. So it shouldn't it shouldn't be there. But sometimes it happens. Strong. Strong. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Strong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you you are not trying to make it. I'll put it like that. Okay. Okay. Sweet. Let's try one more. Let's have sw. Sw. Mm -hmm. Sw. Swim. Sw. Swim. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very good. There's many more. Um, okay, maybe let's have two more. Let's have sure. Sure. Uh huh. And shrimp. Shrimp. Mm hmm. Good. Delicious. Um. One more. Uh, let's have tur. Shrimp. What's that? Tur <coughs> shrimp. Uh -huh. It's turtle. <laughs> tur tur turtle. Yeah. Sure. You can say that. Turtle. Uh huh. Turtle. Even though. Uh huh. That would be more like the American version of the word like turtle in british uh we would just say turtle mm. turtle mm. Yeah. like without don or with don uh without don can you it's repeat just... 
turtle. Turtle, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Because in British okay. English, we often, we just skip er. So I'm not saying tur, I'm just saying turtle. Turtle. Try it. Turtle. No er. Just er. Tur. Turtle. There, there is no, there is no er. Yeah, there's no er. Ignore it. Nothing like that. It's just t. Uh, to. To. T. Uh, to. T. To. Don't say. Don't say the r. There's no r. Yeah. T. <laughs> to. I didn't. My body did it. <laughs> uh, to. One more time. Turtle. Sorry. There <laughs> so. So, <laughs> so forget about the word and just repeat uh, repeat after me yeah t t t t t that's better t t t t t that's better <laughs> yeah you just you just need to open the your jaw a little bit because your jaw sorry that was american your jaw is like just relax. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's better. It takes something. Sure. It takes some experimentation. Yeah, because I'm basically asking you to like use your muscles to find a new position. If that makes sense. Yeah. All right. So. Very well done. That was Donald face, face number one. <laughs> Let's try face number two now, okay? Okay. So, face number two is the lisp. So, we're going to be doing this a lot. Okay. And just to make it interesting, I'll give you words where this is at the end of the word. So, let's try, or let's start with th. Can you hear it? Did you say something? Sorry. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> the microphone is a bit difficult. Yeah. So I'm saying. <laughs> ah, okay. It's better now. <laughs> so, but but look at me. Yeah. The number one rule, or one of the important rules that I tell my uh, students, is that watch first, listen second. Yeah, because. A, the habit of people is to listen and try to somehow copy it. But because I'm trying to make you learn how to move, just use your eyes and see what I do. Yeah, so I start with this. Yeah, my teeth are touching the bottom lip. And it's like the Czech F, like Fchelka, Friedrich, Philip, the same thing. Yeah, so that's where I start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, great. That's it. That's it. That's fantastic. <laughs> uh, that's not that, but <laughs> similar. Yeah, let's do it one more time. Mm. And the word is fifth. Fifth. Uh -huh. Yeah, fifth. Fifth. Mm, great. Yeah, and again, it's as time goes on, you learn to relax a little bit more, and it won't be that hard. So these are numbers. You have fifth, sixth, seventh, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's always the same thing. Yeah. Fantastic. Let's try uh, one more. Let's try sixth. Sixth. Mm -hmm. Sixth. Sixth. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah, that's it. That's fantastic. Yeah. All right. Moving on. Let's do lth. 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 Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Can so, you show me? Sure, sure, sure. Uh, so you start with a l. 
that's where you start and you just move the tongue outside for the lisp phase right so l -f. L -f. Uh -huh. very good basically you just need to learn to put your tongue out to stick it out that's it l -f. L -f. Mm -hmm. and we're gonna say health health mm -hmm. very good yeah health health mm -hmm. that's it that's it very good and by the way if you're not if you ever not sure uh, about any words i'm saying just just let me know yeah no problem. You, are, you are a great teacher i <laughs> hear everything perfect okay thank you i'm trying <laughs> um okay let's continue uh let's actually use the one we've learned uh when we were saying strong so we're gonna start with mm, yeah, and mm. then put the tongue out so it's gonna be mm, f. Mm. great one more time mm. uh -huh. one more time uh -huh. yeah great mm. yeah. Uh -huh. perfect perfect and let's have Le. Mm. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, one sure. more time, please. Sure. Not a, pro not a problem. Yeah. So we have mm. and mm. in front of that, I just want us to put or to say le. Yeah. So le. Mm. Le. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we put it together and it's length. Length. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one more time. Length. Length. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so length. you can hear, you get that little k, yeah, yeah. which it's okay. You can try say it uh, to say it without it. So just length. Length. Mm hmm. I know I'm no. yeah, you're doing you're doing great. Yeah, it can happen, especially in this word, it happens more than not. All right. Moving on to another lisp phase example. We're gonna say pff, pff. Mm -hmm. one more time. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the last one was best. Yeah, it's just two movements. Yeah, just two movements. You start with p, and then you mm -hmm. put the tongue out. Mm -hmm. That's better. One more time. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Good. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, you're doing great. And <sighs> let's combine it with de. So we're going to say de. Pff. De. Pff. Mm -hmm. Depth. De. Depth. Mm -hmm. Depth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. Yeah, depth or hlopka. Mm. Yeah, very good. All right. Let's do a little change, just a small change. Yeah. So, so far, I've been showing you to put the tongue out. Yeah, so. Mm, f, 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 yeah. Mm hmm. Is that okay? Yep. All right. So let's try. Do you think, mm -hmm. do, do you think anyone is still watching? I don't know. <laughs> With no idea. Um, uh, let's try to do the, the opposite now. So instead of going out with the tongue, we're going to go, we start out and we go in. So mm -hmm. it's going to look like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's mm -hmm. very good. And we're going to say baths. Ba. 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 Uh -huh. Take your time, yeah, you can do it very slowly. Ba. Ba. 
Uh huh. Yeah. It's a little bit like, complicated. Yeah. Because you're doing many things. Try to simplify it. Yeah. It's just ba. Ba. Uh -huh. So if you look at your video, it kind of looks like this. Yeah. Ba. Yeah. You're going in and out, in and out very quickly. So just <laughs> slow down and be like ba. That's it. Ah. Perfect. Perfect. Very good. Yeah. Want to try one more time? Ba. Huh? Slowly. One more time. Ba. Ba. That's it. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Uh, let's try. I'm just writing in my mouth like this. Sure. So I'm sure. sorry. <laughs> No, 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 that's, that's all right. That's exactly what's happening. That's the muscle memory, you know. The, mm -hmm. You know, the advantage of muscle memory is one of the things that it's good for is remembering stuff, right? I hear all the time people tell me that, you know, if they don't use English or any language, they forget it, right? But yep. that's, that's usually... I can agree yeah, do you agree with that? Yeah, of course, if I have time, like more days, uh, I don't know, maybe. Uh, I was every summer in Las Palmas, last mm. six years, like four, four months. So I was talking every, almost every day or every week uh, with some local community or with someone from, what was it, our couch surfing community and, and mm. so on. So, my English was much, much better. And then when I came back mm -hmm. after no, two, three months without English or only with Netflix or rare uh, usage, then I feel it's much worse. Mm -hmm. Sure. I mean, That's why I agree. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Like practice uh, helps tremendously. Like absolutely. You can't go without it. But what I wanted to say is that, you know, there's a difference between learning a language and acquiring a language. Learning a language, I say that people are training to become amateur linguists. So it's the thing that you can explain what the tense is and why the grammar is like this. But can you do that in Czech? Can you teach someone Czech? <laughs> <laughs> Tough question, right? I, I, yeah, <laughs> it's because it's because your check is acquired. Like you didn't learn by studying grammar. You learned by you know your mom and dad talk, talking to you as you were growing up, right? So you just mm -hmm. repeat. You learn how to move because you you're watching them as a baby, and you you make the right sounds, and then. It's a, it's, those are sequences of movement that you learn and produce. And that's the same in a, any language. So native speakers, very often, they don't know the rules because you don't need them. Right? It's, just, it's just movements that you've learned. Yeah, yeah, that fit together. So that's exactly right. And uh, so one of the, that's what I wanted to say, that the benefits of you know, investing the time into the movement, learning how to move, uh, is that you will never forget it. Like once you know all the movements and how to do them and practice them for some time, then you will never ever forget the language. No? Mm -hmm. uh, because Makes you're sense. not like mistaking the movements of, let's say, Czech and English. You're not mixing it together. Right? If it's like, is that, does that make sense? Uh, of course, it makes sense, definitely. Uh, maybe uh, you should put your mic back because I can. I hear you. Uh, Is that better? Much better. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. So, it is a bit funny, to you know make the faces and uh, and learn language like that, but it has uh, many benefits, and 
one of the like shortcuts that I can think of uh, that would explain it well to people is if you can do yoga and you can uh, run, do you ever mix yoga movements for running movements? Yeah, maybe I'm weird enough to, to do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe, maybe you, yes. Um, <laughs> Or, okay, maybe let's do football, football and hockey, right? ice hockey. So if you don't, you like, right? If you can do both, then you're not going to, you, you're not going to kick a puck, let's say, because you have a stick. So, well, <laughs> I mean, sure. uh, like there are similarities, no doubt, but it's like a different set of movements yep. is what I'm trying to say. Right? So yes, some of them are the same, much like English and Czech has the same you sounds. You don't use skating while you play football. You know, you sure. Have to run. Sure. But... Sure. Yeah. So there undoubtedly there's some movements that are the same thing. Yeah, like ah in English and Czech is the same thing. But then you have sounds that don't exist in Czech, like th. Right? No one in says uh, in Czech says th but it, it's very common in English. And if you don't know how to do it, then you're gonna say something like think, yeah? It's a very common mistake. People say, I think should be, I think. And people say things like, I, I think, I think, I think, because they don't know they should think with the tongue out, if that makes sense. I think so. <laughs> ah, very good, very good. <laughs> Yeah, so I want to show you uh, a combo because we've done we've done a length, yeah, and uh, dream. So the two faces. And then we also went back with baths. I also wanted to try to do the like a vibrational version of it, uh, vibrational version, which would be the. You want to try it? Oh. One more time, please. I don't know if you can hear it. Well, th yeah, I hear her. Th the d. Uh huh. End with the d. Th mm -hmm. Good. And now let's have low the d. Low the. Uh huh. The. The. Uh -huh. And we can do k clo the d. Clo the. The tongue needs to go out. Yeah, you can see yourself in the on the in in, in the video, right? Clo the. Yeah. Try it. Clo the. Uh -huh. Do it very slowly. The. Yeah, it doesn't work slowly. <laughs> sure, it does. <laughs> Glow the. Uh -huh, that's better. That's better. It's, it's, it's hard to figure it out for the but first it, time, it, right? It, it, it's actually very hard for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Sure. No, don't worry about it. It's like the first time is always hard, the hardest, and then I feel every like other time is easier. easier. Yeah, I feel. I feel like a retard, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, that's part of the fun, right? Uh, that's why yeah. I, I always say people tell people they have to be okay with looking silly. <laughs> so that's fantastic. I want to take these two faces uh, and put them together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start by Donald. Burr. Burr. Mm -hmm. And end with the lisp. So it's going to be breathe. Breathe. Mm -hmm, very good. Breathe. Breathe. Ah, yeah, very slowly. So it's I breathe, you breathe, he, she, it breathes. So he breathes air. For instance, he breathes air. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Breathe. Breathe. 
Mm -hmm, that's it. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, this is a hard one, especially for the first like lesson. Uh, that's a hard one. So uh, we're just playing now. Yeah, don't don't worry about this at all. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> let's try a different combination. One that's very very common, and will be the opposite in 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 some ways. So we're going to start like this. Can you do that? Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Very good. Very good. And if I add sounds to it, it's going to be three, three. Mm -hmm. So come from. Uh huh. But don't don't skip the Donald. Yeah. I forgot about Donald. At the uh -huh. <laughs> it's just practice. Don't worry. That's better. Yeah. Try to copy my movement. Uh, I won't say anything. I'll just show you the movement. <laughs> uh, do, do it with me. Three. Uh huh. Three. Uh huh. Uh huh. Three. Uh huh. You're getting that. Getting that. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why a lot of people get it wrong because it's hard because you 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 using two faces that you don't know because they don't exist in Czech, basically. Right. So it's like, and you like putting it together. Three. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh, yeah. mm -hmm. There's another word that we can use, which is similar, but slightly easier version, I think, which would be thwart. Thwart. Mm -hmm. But Donald, thwart. thwart. Uh -huh. One more time. Thwart. Mm -hmm. there's, no, there's no R or R. Yeah, it's just thwart. Uh, oh, sorry, one more time, please. So, f w f w. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, Zoom just said me something that I choose to cancel. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. You will go out, <laughs> basically. Sure. Almost, I'll, I'll promise this This will be the last thing, you know? So... Oh, I'm really <laughs> enjoying it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, what was it? Uh, so it was a combo for... For... Uh -huh. Very good. Yeah. For... Mm -hmm. Thwart. Thwart. Uh -huh. Don't try to say r or r or anything like that, yeah? It's just thwart. Thwart. <laughs> let's, thwart. Uh, that's better. Let's do it together. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> How are you feeling? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I feel good. <laughs> it was a funny hour, and yeah, I, 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 I was, I was always thinking about English, just only about new worlds and. Mm -hmm. Some grammar. I never tried to pronounce uh, words correctly or mm -hmm. like this. So this is new world for me. Sure. Uh, so I hope it helps. It it explains a lot of lots of things. Um, these movements, even though it doesn't look like it, it it's where grammar 
comes from. Yeah, um, I'm simplifying, of course, but many things are built so they are easy to say. Right. So when you think about articles like a uh, an an apple, a mm -hmm. cake. Right. The reason why you say an apple is so you can connect it together. Right. An apple. And mm -hmm. and at school they usually teach you that it's it has to do with writing. So if you say because a is at the beginning of apple, so you would assume it's an apple, right? Do you know what I mean? Okay, so that's partially true. But if, if you think about university, right? Mm -hmm. What you should say is a university, a university. So you're not saying a university. Why? Because, no, it's not a rule. well, the rule is it's easy to say, right? Because what you, what you write is you, it's the letter U, it's the U, but what you say, if you pay attention, is Y, Y, university. It's not university. And that's why you say a university. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. So a lot of things are like that uh, yeah. because of how the way you say it and it makes it easier to, to produce as well. Um, yeah. So this was our first lesson. I hope you liked it. Um, <laughs> as a general rule, yeah, if I always, I tell this to advanced students, to beginners, to, to everybody. When you have, let's say, a presentation, because a, a lot of my clients, they do present in English, you know, in, fr in front of other people, whether they're programmers or uh, just public speakers. You want to... Totally forgot what I wanted to say, basically. <laughs> totally. Uh, no, no matter. You are talking about what you teach people who are going to have presentations. Mm -hmm. Any ideas what you want to Yeah, no, I remember that. I just don't remember why. What I wanted to say about that. Maybe some common mistakes or no. So let's just keep it. Um... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's plenty, it's plenty of things. Oh, um, important. <laughs> <Anyway>. <laughs> yeah, it yeah, probably wasn't important. Um, yeah. Uh, so that's it. That's it. We start with those two faces. Oh, I know what I wanted to say with those with those uh, speakers, with the public speakers. When you when you're doing a presentation or you're talking to somebody, it's you don't have the mental capacity to think about like grammar and vocabulary. It's just you're trying to talk to a person or to an audience, so that's too much. So remembering the Donald face. And the lisp phase is just about enough what people can, can manage usually. And if you're okay with looking a little bit silly, it will improve your English by like 80%. Right? Even, like, even if I just keep it like this and I keep, talk, keep talking with the, with, the, with the Donald face, it still sounds all right, even though I don't have to do it as much. Right? It's like okay. the... It's like the general sound of English, you know? So if, if ever in doubt, just train yourself to, to talk like this. <laughs> Should I talk every morning to my mirror? Hello, sure. Don. Yeah, How sure. did you see this wonderful mm -hmm. night? <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure. Yeah, like the, the word mirror is easier to do, like mirror. Right. Uh -huh. Or, you know, another word that I like to give uh, as an example is, let's, let's actually try this together. Yeah. Just make sounds. And, and first, we're going to start with faces and no sounds. So, great. 
that's the three, yeah? I'm going to add sounds to it. So, le, le ch, ch, le. le. Yeah, so it's le, ch, le. le. Uh -huh. And try to say it faster and faster. Le, le ch, ch, le. Le, 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 ch, le. Yeah. And you should get it basically to literally, 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 literally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that would be doslova. Píše se to literal e, and a lot of people have a problem with that. But it's not that difficult if you think about it as movement. It's just literally, literally, literally. Yeah, yeah. Or sometimes people say literally. But that's more American. But anyway, no. <laughs> Any questions? Hmm. Maybe. Uh, how can I order lessons with you and stuff like this? Oh, sure. So uh, you can go to neposerse.cz. <laughs> uh, <laughs> where? <laughs> Sorry. Or dot cz. <laughs> uh, oh, dot cz. That's true. Um, so neposerse.cz, <laughs> which I have, I have my book there, uh, and there's a tab that says Angličtina. So you click on that tab, and there you can book some time, time with me. Yeah. Okay. It shouldn't be easier. <laughs> okay. Thank you, yeah. Adam. Uh, sure. And if you want any tips, we have a Facebook group, which is also... Uh, one is Neposerse, one is hashtag Neposerse, that's on Facebook. And I tend to share like homeworks and uh, some free materials in that group so, so everyone could get it and I don't have to email everyone individually. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I hope to see you uh, next time. If you have any questions, let me know. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's it for me. Okay, so then have a nice day. Yeah, you too. Bye. <laughs> <All right. laughs>